uh, youth baseball defense mindset. <coughs> Again, we've already stressed it some. Uh, every player is an outfielder and infielder, and uh, stress to them don't make one position better than the other. Okay? Um, glorify both infield, outfield, and be like that. And I just put on there don't pinhole players at a young age to one spot. Okay? It'll help them in the long run the more they can do on there. Um, make the routine play, which uh, Tanner brought up earlier in there. That's our goal is to make the routine play every time. And then always be doing something, moving, backing up a play. Every player has a role during that play. And there's nothing worse than balls out in the right field and pitcher stands on the mound yet. You should be going to back up at a, at a base. Everyone should be moving, or if the ball's hit down the third baseline, left fielder stand there watching instead of moving over to get to the back up position. And so they should be moving on everything. Uh, teach the mental game. Errors will happen, okay? How do you react? There's going to be errors, and there's going to be errors, and the biggest thing is how is the kid going to react to the error? Uh, is he done for the rest of the game? You know, is he going to strike out when he goes up the back? Is he still worried about the error? Or if the next ball is hit to him, is he going to commit another error? Uh, they have to be able to flush that part out. So teach the game. You know, Errors are going to happen. Okay? What are you going to do on the next play? Okay. If I was playing and the ball was hit to me and I made an error, I'd hope the next ball is hit to me okay? right away. Make that play and, and get over it. And there's some out there that don't want that ball to come back from again. Uh, bring energy to the field, and then communication is key. And okay, they should always know what's going to be happening, communicating, and uh, if your outfield's out there, they should be talking to one another. Infield should be communicating to the outfield, how many outs, and all that other stuff. Okay, so those little, those little things on communication is, is key. Infield. Uh, for our infield, infield stance, uh, strong athletic base, uh, shoulder width apart, your feet, uh, throwing side foot slightly back, uh, show the palm of the glove to the plate, and then when the pitcher starts to make the movement home, you should be moving out towards, towards the infield. Okay? So look at their depth. should be up on their toes. Okay, there shouldn't be too much weight on their heels because the weight's on their heels, you need to be able to react left to right if the ball's hit to, to those sides out there. But uh, there's nothing wrong with just working in stance with the field. Okay? And then that motion of pitch that's going home and make sure that they're moving up and, and uh, getting into a habit with that. Um, Infield fundamentals, incorporated in the practice plan daily. Uh, now the good thing is they're online, right? The videos from last year. So the infield and the outfield fundies and all those, last year when we had the clinic, we went down to the gym afterwards and we videotaped them. So all these fundies are on the website and you have access, access to them. Uh, the first one, glove hand, no glove. All the drills are done with a partner. Uh, but glove hand, or glove hand, no glove. And the main thing is when they're doing these funnies on the infield stuff, you should see the top of their hat when they're feeling the ball. And one of the coaching points with it. So when they come out there and they get that ball, you should see the top of their, their hat. If you don't, they're not watching the ball get to their hand. Hand should be out in front and their head should be down with it. Uh, both hands, no glove. They're out in front. Glove hand with glove, then top hand with the glove over the top. Then you can work forehand, then you can work backhand, and then just make sure when they do the backhand that they are stepping, their knees are bending with it. Okay, they should be coming through the ball. And then backhand, they shouldn't be stabbing at the ball. There should be a motion through the ball, and they should be coming up, up through that ball. Uh, they can work on tags, short hops, and then ball from the outfield. Now, you probably won't be able to get through all of them, especially at the youth level, the thing, so you can break it up and say, okay, today we're going to be doing these up here, and the next time we'll be working on those. And on there. Tags, we incorporate that in when we play catch. Okay. Uh, play 
answer the purpose or the test just didn't pay um, or something like that. I told them the funnies and like I said, the videos are online and illustrate each one of those. And then other drills that you can do, double play turns, ground balls throw the first, box drill with toss, and what that is is you get you get four people, you get them into a square, and they don't have to be far away, and you toss at that person, and then you replace that person. Then you toss around, you can toss around, so it's an underhand toss on there. It gets them to follow the ball to the person, and they get a line behind that one, and work their way around. And then we do box drill with throw, the same thing there, stay low. And then relays from the outfield work on your cutoffs. Questions? Infield? Anything? Okay. Outfield. Outfielder expectations catch every ball, communicate, uh, back up your fellow outfielders, trust. You have to have a trust out there. Know what's going on, knowing the situations. Be active, hustle, no time for lazy outfielders, and know the catcher's signs when they get older. Okay? Now, 10 under when the catcher ain't going to be getting signs, but as the kids get older in upper levels, they should know the catcher's signs. First and third situation, if he's throwing to the left field, if I'm playing, throwing to third base and I'm playing left field, I should know that sign, so I start working my way over. Uh, if it's thrown through when I'm playing center field, I should know that. Okay, so they should know the catcher signs and they can get in their backup positions with that. Outfielder stance, it's an athletic stance. Feet are shoulder apart or shoulder width apart, and then hands are slightly on the thighs, and then they're on the balls of their feet out there. Uh, outfielder fundies. Uh, do every day, inside and outside. And the thing is, it's a partner toss. Okay? It's a partner toss. And last year I coached the outfielders at the varsity level and we threw the ball to one another. Okay? And you toss it to them. And what you're working on are the small things, the footwork, the angle that they're going back there. Uh, they're getting back underneath the ball, moving forward on the catch on there. And one of the things about youth baseball, he said, drive me nuts is uh, pregame. You go and play other teams, and I take my guys out there, and I'd be tossing the ball 15, 20 feet, working on mechanics. You look over, and the other team, he's sitting there getting fly balls over their head, and they're chasing. And it's not getting them ready. Then, you know, that invention looks like a tennis racket. So now they got them out there, and they're just throwing the ball over the kid's head. It doesn't teach them anything. And chase the ball about it, uh, on there. So we do it with a partner toss. Uh, we go to the left, we go to the right, we go straight back three times each on there. And then we get a partner and we throw line drives at them. <clears throat> get them about 60 feet away, yell go, and then you're trying to hit seven spots. You're trying to hit the glove side high and low, you're trying to hit cross body high and low, and then you're trying to hit down the middle, high, middle, low on there. And the thing is, for the older guys, I always have competition. Who can throw seven perfect balls? So the guy throwing the ball is having a competition with everyone else trying to get the targets every time. And I'm there. So it works out that way. And then we work on ground balls. Same thing. Guy's about 60 feet away. Roll the ball uh, three times to the left, three times to the right, three times straight at him. And we do it with no one on. Okay? What's your job? Keep the ball in front of you. Okay? Slow down when the ball gets there. Get in front, get big, so you can knock it down. You want to keep the guy at one base. Okay? We're aggressively going at it, but we break right down on it. And then we do it with the runner on second base. So we're going to throw out. Okay? Three times, three times, three times down the middle. And then we're going to throw out. And then the fourth one, look over to the right, catch over to the left, then look over to the left, catch over to the right, 
tell them go, they take off, toss it, so they have to make the turn and come back on the ball that's carrying on. So do that. But again, those lines, <coughs> videos online that goes through each one of those, those drills. Uh, other outfield drills, communication drill, mind three times loud, never tell the other outfielder they have it. You make the vocal sound, that means you're catching the ball. Okay? And just get them yelled at really loud three times. Hitting fly balls and ground balls to them. And then relay throws from the hitting the cutoff man, left side, shoulder height. And I do this with the outfielders. It's the old three person drill. The person in the middle is the cutoff guy. And they just kind of do a relay throw with them. And then you switch. Question. 